What's up shooters? Thanks for joining the Eagle's Nest. Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to see exactly what Hornady's new 6mm ARC cartridge is all about. We got two awesome custom rifles in front of you. One of them is a Howa 1500 Mini that's been rechambered, rebarreled to the 6mm ARC. The other one is a Savage 110, also chambered in 6mm ARC. They both have Excalibur barrels and they both have a 26 and a half inch overall length finish. So the Howa 1500 is in a Sendero contour. It has a one and seven twist, 5R rifling. And the Savage 110 is in a MTU contour and a one and 7.7 .7 twist, 3R rifling. Again, like I said, both these uh, rifles are chambered uh, at a max overall length of 26 and a half inches. I want to see exactly what kind of performance we get downrange at 100 yards using some Hornady match 108 grain ELDs. A huge shout out to Ray from the X-Ring. He sent over a couple boxes of this. Now, these are super hard to find right now. So I want to see exactly what we can get out of a bolt action. And if you guys are interested after today's video of purchasing your own barrel for your Howa or your Savage, I will be selling these on my website at dpgunworks.com. The barrels I will be selling will be in a Sendero Contour 1 and 7 twist, as you see here on a Howa 1500 for a Howage style barrel. And I also will be offering those in a Savage uh, platform. So let's get to it. Let's see what kind of performance we get downrange, get some chrono numbers, and see if we can improve some groups later on. Okay, so both these barrels are fresh off the lathe, not even one shot down the barrel. So we got to go ahead and sight these in at 100 yards. Let's take the first shot and see if I'm on paper here. Really hard to see where I was at. All right, I'm on paper. Let's see if we can shoot a group here. Not bad performance. Okay, so the heat's just played a toll on the camera equipment, but the first shot was down here. I then adjusted my elevation, took a second shot here, and then the third shot was actually right here. And I just shot for a five shot group, holding dead center here. So right off the bat, that's looking pretty promising. I think that's about a, just over a one inch group. Uh, this one, I felt like I pulled a little bit, but I, I still felt like it was a good shot. We're gonna go ahead and slap on the Magneto Speed, get some chrono numbers and see exactly what kind of performance and standard deviations we're getting. I'll aim for right here. Well, folks, what do you guys think? What kind of velocities are we going to get out of a 26 and a half inch rifle barrel? Let's find out. Twenty-eight fifty-four. Unfortunately, the cartridges are sticking a little bit on the ejection, but no biggie. It's got to put a stronger ejector spring on there. Twenty-eight fifty-one. Looking pretty good. Twenty-eight sixty-seven. Twenty-eight sixty-seven. Got a duplicate there. All right, last shot. Twenty-eight sixty-two, and looks like if I work that bolt back pretty hard, it comes out pretty easy. Uh, I think that's what I got to do, but not bad. We cut a standard deviation of 7.3 so first shot was 28.54 second shot 28.51 28.67 
and we got a duplicate 2867 2862 now those are the numbers i want to see now those are going to be some awesome awesome impacts in long range at that velocity 7.3 standard deviation i think that's pretty damn good let's check out the groups so obviously a point of impact change and uh these are the five shot group looks like just at an inch so even though we have some really good chrono numbers i think playing around with the seating depth of the bullet will definitely tighten up that group well we're going to go ahead and shoot the hawa 1500 and uh see what she does try to zero that thing out first and then uh, shoot a five shot group all right let's take the first shots out of the hawa see how she feeds hopefully we don't have any hang-ups like savage just bore sight of this thing so Hopefully it's close. Okay. See impact. All right, she's ejecting real good. Okay, good. All right, on paper, green. Two MOA low. Yeah, she's feeding real good out of this platform. All right, the Howa 1500 Mini. Definitely keep it up with the other groups here. Actually, it seems to be a little bit tighter than the Savage. So the first shot actually landed here. So I readjusted, did a four shot group. So I'm two MOA low and a quarter MOA right. This is an MOA scope on this uh, rifle. So I'll go ahead and slap on the Magneto speed. See what kind of FPS we get in standard deviation. I'll be aiming here. Uh, the Savage was putting out 2853-ish average. So we'll see if the one in seven twist, this is a slightly faster twist, slows it down or gives us better performance. Let's find out. Yeah, this thing is ejecting and being very reliable out of this platform. So the Howard Mini 1500, definitely is a good little platform for this so that shot was ooh, a little slower 2794 just shy of 2800 i think the group went off a little bit here that shot 2829 huh so maybe the first shot was a flyer it definitely hit a top, hit on the top right there. All right, yep. First shot was definitely a flyer. So 2827. That's looking pretty tight for velocity. Twenty-eight forty-seven. Twenty-eight thirty-three. So standard deviation is going to show a nineteen point five. Uh, that first shot was a a flyer for sure. So let me go ahead and delete that first shot. Get us a better SD number. Uh, that gave us an SD out of this rifle of a nine. So we got a. Max velocity of 2847, minimum of 2827, an average of 2834. So there's roughly 20 FPS slower uh, using a 1 and 7 twist versus a 1 and 7.7 out of the Savage 110. So actually what I'm seeing here is actually pretty good performance downrange as well. Looks like the groups are a lot better compared to the Savage 110 in a 1 and 7, 7 twist. So it looks like the Savage 110 probably has to shoot some uh, lighter bullets um, or play around with the seating depth and we'll get these cartridges dialed in. Let's go check out that last group. All right, so groups with the chronograph. One, two, three, four. And this was the first shot being the flyer that I called. Um, that was a lot lower uh, velocity number. So uh, the magneto speed did tighten up that group, looks like or the barrel itself is a little bit wearing in. So obviously they won in seven twist. The Sendero Contour in the Howa Mini 1500. Factory ammunition is definitely performing better than what I've seen out there. 
there's a few content creators out there that have been following quite a bit uh, that have uh, gotten the CMMG uh, Resolute uh, promo rifles in the 6 ARC and the performance that I've seen downrange on those rifles is pretty subpar I mean they're barely holding them away but um, I think uh, with the bolt action the velocities that it's pushing I think that 108 grain ELD wants to be pushed around 2800 FPS that's what I notice with a lot of folks that are running 6 Dasher 6 GT uh, 6 millimeter Creed bore they're in the upper 2800 uh, feet a second especially the professional uh, PRS shooters. A uh, little information that I gathered recently from Is Your Six Covered and Bray from the X-Ring. They're stating that the pro guys are shooting 28, uh, 80, 28, 70, around that range uh, with their six millimeter PRS rifles. So velocities that we're seeing today is on par with what they're doing. Um, and this cartridge, I think, is going to be a hit. It's going to be easy to get brass easy to get reloading components and uh, barrel life is going to be significantly better than a six millimeter uh, creedmoor well folks let's see what she does at long range we're going to go at a thousand yards i'm going to put a steel up there and see how she holds group at that distance okay so we're at a thousand yards with a savage 110 again this one's in, in a 3r rifling one and seven seven twist we're going to see what kind of groups we could hold at this distance uh, 8.2 on elevation, roughly one mil left. Impact. All right. Looks like we're uh, we got a pretty good, decent group happening down there. That was uh, five shots, so well seven total. Took two shots to get on target. Looks like my dope actually is going to be. Um, 8.1 mil on 1,000 yards with this rifle. So 8.1, it's got some pretty good velocity. All right, so unfortunately my camera down the hill didn't capture the footage, but this is a pretty tight group. Take it that this is a 24 by 24 target. That is a pretty tight group. One, two, three, four, five at this distance. Uh, Sterlock was actually dead on 8.2 mils and it's putting it right at 1,485 feet a second. So we'll go ahead and paint this thing up and then try out the Howa. Okay, let's finish this thing strong with the Howa 1500, 1,000 yards, 28.5 uh, MOA is what it's calling for, and 5.7 MOA left. See if we can get a first round impact here. Ooh, high. Two MOA high. Okay, six o'clock. Okay. All right. So, looks like the groups are pretty good. I ended up uh, did adjusting after the first impact. Got it down to where it was uh, right about the center. And looks like we have about the same performance as the Savage. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here's the group shot with the Howa 1500. That is the last five shots there. The first two, first one was uh, way up there. Dial down, one MOA, hit right here. And I believe that was the third shot. Well, if this camera was working and didn't overheat it, I would have found out. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna primarily focus on this. We got a little bit of horizontal stringing, which is perfect to see with a little bit of wind shift change that we have. Obviously you can see it's uh, left and right. So not bad. I think this how was doing pretty damn good as well. Well, folks, I want to see your comments below. What do you guys think of this cartridge? Out of a bolt action, the performance that we're getting downrange at 1,000 yards and at 100, is this going to be a good cartridge for hand loading? We'll find out. All right, so the 6 ARC out of a bolt action is a whole different animal, I think, compared to the AR-15. This thing is definitely performing downrange, getting the velocities that we need for PRS and long distance. 2,850 FPS, 
2030 FPS out of the Hawa, that's going to be putting you supersonic right roughly around 1250 yards. So it's definitely got some distance to reach out. Well, now that we have some fire form cases, we're ready to hand load. Guys, stick around, stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe if you like this video. As always, stay safe. I'll catch y'all soon on the next video. All right, folks, if you want to grab yourself a good six millimeter ARC barrel, head over to dpgunworks.com and sign up for that email list. I'll put out an email campaign when these are available. Now, I will be making these for the Howa 1500 Mini. It will be in a Howage style barrel, which means they'll be utilizing a barrel nut. And if you have a specific action in mind that utilizes a .440 PPC bolt head, you want to see this barrel made in that action, drop a comment below or send us an email. Folks, God bless, stay safe, and thanks for watching.